Welcome to Bagging Groceries the Buy for Less way. As a BFL employee, you are one of the most important connections between Buy for Less and our guests. Each time that you bag a guest's groceries, it is a golden opportunity for you to win them over with great service, a warm smile, and what we like to call fanatical friendliness. Your skill as a bagger and a great attitude can be a key ingredient that keeps our guests coming back week after week. The first thing you need to know is that while bagging groceries for Buy for Less, you may encounter two basic categories of bags, paper or plastic. This video will give you all the information you need to do a great job with either type. Before we get into the actual bagging of groceries, there are a few basic items to cover that will make a big difference and add to our guests' experience. As soon as the guest approaches your area, make eye contact and greet them with a friendly smile. If your store offers both paper and plastic bags, find out what type of bag they prefer by saying something like, good morning, would you like paper or plastic today? Always make sure the bagging area is fully stocked with plenty of bags. There are many advantages to having a grocery bag filled properly. If the bagger has done their job correctly, they will be able to get more items into each bag and make the guest's job of transporting and unpacking the bag a lot easier. Plus, if bagged properly, the items in the bag will be far less likely to be spoiled or broken when the guest gets home. Before you begin, you must learn the correct way to open the bag, allowing it to stand up on its own. First, grasp the bag at the top with one hand. If the bag has handles, just pretend it does not and grab the body of the bag. Then, with the other hand, push the bottom open. Then, placing both hands on the inside of the bag, you can push the gussets open. It should now stand up on its own. Each of these steps should happen in rapid succession. And with a little practice, you'll be able to open the bag almost as if it were one quick, fluid motion. Now here it is again slowed down. Grasp the top. Push the bottom down with your other hand. Then push the gussets open with both hands. And remember, if the bag is the type with handles, avoid touching the handles altogether while opening the bag. Trying to use the handles while opening the bag will most likely damage the bag. So, never hold the handles while pushing open the bag from the bottom. Never use the handles to pop the bag open. Never pull the handles in an outward direction from the sides of the bag and never pick up a full bag with only one handle. Always pick the bag up with both handles at the same time. As the items begin to come your way, get a feel for what will be bagged and which items need to be bagged first. Set aside smaller items and items that may be crushed if placed on the bottom. When assessing the order, ask yourself, how many bags will I need to hold all of the groceries that are in the guest's cart? For large orders, have at least two bags open at all times, so you can distribute the groceries evenly and maximize the number of items that can go into a bag. You should also place like items together. It helps to sort items into categories as they come down the conveyor. Fruits and vegetables, box cereals and dinners, refrigerated versus non-refrigerated, detergents and cleansers. Separating these items and placing them together in the same bag will help guests put them away when they get home. And it's important to remember that frozen and wet items should be wrapped in plastic to prevent leakage. Plus, cleansers and other chemicals should be packed separately to avoid food contamination. Take the following steps to ensure that groceries are evenly distributed within the bag. First, make a foundation. Distribute the weight on the bottom with same-sized, like items next to each other. Non-fragile items such as cans work great for this. Next, using cartons and cereal boxes, build a protective wall. Put larger items in first, followed by the smaller ones. Be careful with breakables. Put bottles, glass, and other fragile items near the center of the bag. Now you have an area that can act like a nest, where you can place small, fragile, or bruisable items like light bulbs or fruit for protection. Protect the groceries in the bag from moisture by making sure that meat, vegetables, and frozen items are wrapped in plastic. To top it all off, place extra fragile items such as chips and bread on top so they won't get crushed. 
Then finally, if possible, try to fit at least one more item in. Look for nooks and crannies where you can fit something small, helping to reduce the number of bags used. Take a look at the entire process one more time. Set aside small items to be added later, heavy cans on the bottom to make a foundation, build a protective wall, nest fragile items, add meat and other wet items that are wrapped in plastic, crushable items on top, try to find room for at least one last small item. When the guests' groceries have been bagged, always ask them if they need some help out. Many guests will prefer plastic bags, or that may be all that is available. So prepare by properly loading the bags onto their custom rack. Load one bundle at a time. Begin by loading the bag handles onto the arms of the rack. Next, place the two center holes located at the bottom of the bag's tie over the two prongs sticking up in the middle of the rack. Load at least four or more bundles of bags to fill the rack. To open the first bag of each bundle, Simply lift the two layers of the tie, separate them, and pull the front layer to open the bag. The remaining bags in the bundle will pop open automatically. Filling plastic bags is similar to the paper bag technique. Start by adding boxed items to the outside of the bag to form walls. Then fill in the middle of the bag, making sure to create layers by placing larger, heavier items on the bottom and lighter items on top. Put fragile items that are bruisable or crushable on top and be sure to separate cleansers and chemicals from food items. And as with paper bags, make sure that meat, wet, or frozen items get their own bag. Extra large items and items with handled packaging can go straight into the guest's cart without a bag. Avoid overloading the bag. A good rule of thumb is 10 items or about 10 pounds per bag. So there you have it, all the info you need to be a top-notch buy for less grocery bagger. By applying the techniques outlined in this video, you'll be on your way to servicing our guests with skill and professionalism. And by interacting with each guest using the buy for less core value of fanatical friendliness, you'll be a key part of why our guests keep coming back to us week after week.